The real estate market peaked last summer, right? Or did it? Well, what's up Northerners, Westerners, Floridians, and anyone else that is joining us today. I've got a jam packed video for you all. As you know, I love talking about the market, breaking down the numbers and figuring out why things are happening the way they're happening. <laughs> Actually, a uh, funny story. When I was in high school, I was in an AP statistics class and I remember not being able to fully understand the concept that the teacher was saying. So I kept asking all these questions and eventually my best friend is sitting behind me. He's like kicking my chair going, Matt, it just works. Stop trying to figure out why and let's move on with class. Well, I've taken that tenacity with statistics and I've applied it to my real estate career. See, the National Association of Realtors, they come out with their market numbers and so does our local board and they kind of compare a lot of things year over year, but neither of them seem to compare what is actually happening in the present day market. And that's why about four years ago, I divided out Sarasota into these following areas. These areas actually coordinate directly with my website. I started pulling the numbers of each area every single month. Well, today I have a really valuable, robust spreadsheet that I get to look over and it helps me follow the trends and predict you know, what could happen in the future. And the best part about this is I compile all of these numbers into a super easy to understand PDF just for you. It looks a little something like this and you can download it today for free in the video description below. Or if you're on my monthly newsletter, you go ahead and you're gonna get this as well. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna show you what Sarasota home prices have done month by month over the last 18 months so you can literally see the trends that I'm talking about. If you don't know me, my name is Matt Light and I get to live here in beautiful Sarasota, Florida. I'm a husband, I'm a dad, I'm a realtor, a worship leader, and a huge sports enthusiast. And in today's video, I'm not only gonna break down the numbers for you by area, but I'm also gonna tell you why it matters if you are one of the many people thinking about making the move and purchasing a home here in Sarasota. I'm gonna talk about the median price point in each area, which may help you decide where you should focus your home search. Now, feel free to jump ahead in this video to the area that you're specifically interested in. And again, at the end, I'm gonna bring Bring it all together with my final thoughts on Sarasota and the Sarasota real estate market. So let's get started with Sarasota County as a whole. Closed sales from this time last year are down 10% and get this, inventory is up 85%. And here's the crazy thing, pricing year over year is actually up 1.86%. The reason this is kind of a crazy statistic is because sales are down, inventory is up. So wouldn't that mean that pricing should be dropping as well? I'm so glad that you asked. And that is the right question to be asking right now. And I'm gonna get to that. But first, let's get through some of the other popular areas of Sarasota. The islands and keys, these consist of Siesta Key, Longboat Key, Lido Key, Bird Key, Casey Key, and St. Armand's Key. Now, closed sales are down 10%, inventory is up 50%, and pricing is up 0.17%. So essentially, pricing hasn't really changed from what it was this time last year. The median time to contract in this area is also 37 days with a median price range for single family homes is gonna come in just over $2 million. In condos, the median price point is $881,000. Moving west of the trail, this is the area that is west of Tamiami Trail, south of downtown, all the way down to that Osprey area. There's usually not a ton of transactions because it's a very specific area, so the percentage change can appear to be drastic. So closed sales, they are actually up 16%. Inventory is up 50%. Days on market is right around 12 days and single family homes are around just under 1.7 million and condos are around $425,000. Now let's move east real quick. East of I-75, this is south of University Parkway and north of 681, essentially the 34240 and 34241 zip codes. So yes, this market numbers would include the new waterside area on the south end of Lakewood Ranch. Now closed sales are down 2%, Inventory is up 32% and median price point is actually down 6% and days on market right now is about a month. A single family home east of 75 is gonna cost you around $695,000 and a condo is gonna run you around $397,000. Now key market factors in this area are there's a few new construction communities that could skew this data. You've got Sky Ranch, which is built by Taylor Morrison off of Clark Road. You've Grand Park by Neal Communities and the whole Waterside area. And builders can skew data because if they have an influx of inventory, 
they're probably gonna put it in the MLS, which that's how all the realtor associations and national association pull all the market data. And when they do this some months and don't do it other months, it's hard to get a true gauge of what the inventory really is. Now, Waterside and Grand Park, they haven't put a ton of their inventory homes into the MLS, but Taylor Morrison at Sky Ranch, they have. Let's move over to Palmer Ranch. Palmer Ranch is one of my favorite areas in Sarasota, really due to the school zoning, proximity to CS to Key, downtown, and it's really quick to get onto I-75 and zip around Sarasota, wherever you wanna get. And I think we can get some pretty accurate numbers in this area because it's mostly all built out, minus Talon Preserve and Sunrise Preserve, but Sunrise Preserve should be sold out pretty soon. Closed sales is up 8% from this time last year, and inventory is up 55%. Now, pricing is down only 1%, so essentially hasn't really changed much. Days on market is currently 26 days. Single family homes are going to cost you around $674,000 and condos $367,000. Now let's go over to Lakewood Ranch. A lot of people when they call me, they want to compare Palmer Ranch to Lakewood Ranch. So let's go ahead and, and talk about Lakewood Ranch. Lakewood Ranch still has a ton of building going on. So market data, like I said before, can be skewed depending on if builders are inputting their data into the MLS or not. But overall, closed sales are up 30%. Inventory, get this, is up 286%. I'll explain that in just a second. Pricing, however, is down 12% and days on market is right at uh, around 37 days. So single family homes are running you 632,000 bucks and condos are $394,000. Now it's no secret that Lakewood Ranch is on every person's relocation list and areas in their map and everything like that. I mean, it has been voted the number one multi-generational community and number one master plan community in the entire country. So the reason closed sales are up 30% is probably because there's a lot of people moving to the area. Now inventory is up 286%. This is because of new DR Horton and Lennar communities. Both of these builders, they build spec homes and then they sell them as they get closer to completion. So they place pretty much every one of their homes of their, you know, their projects in the MLS once they begin building them. So you might see 40 homes from a builder dumped into the MLS. Well, that's going to go ahead and make that inventory go a lot higher, you know, when we're trying to compare homes year over year. North Sarasota. This area is north of Fruitville, but south of University Parkway. Closed sales are down 16% with inventory going up 49%. Days on market is 24 days and median pricing is down 10%. Single family homes are gonna cost you around $390,000 and condos will be around $237,000. Now, Central Sarasota, this is the area that is south of Fruitville, but north of Clark Road. And a lot of these homes were built in the 80s and 90s and many are kind of a smaller square footage under 2,000 square feet. Now, closed sales are down 26% with inventory being up 35%, days on market is 16 days, but yet pricing is only down 2%, even with closed sales being less, inventory being high. Again, I'm gonna kind of touch on what I think is happening. Single family homes in this area are gonna be around $427,000 and condos are $256,000. Downtown Sarasota, this one is pretty unique and you'll see why. <laughs> Overall, closed sales are down 14%, inventory is up, 54%. We're kind of really seeing that trend a lot as we go through these areas where the sales are down, inventory is up. Days on market is right around 39 days. Now pricing is up 285%. Let me explain that. Single family homes are $963,000 and condos are $3.4 million. Now with downtown being very specific, anytime a new building project takes place, it's drastically gonna skew the data. And right now there are some very luxurious condos being built and sold. So that median condo price a year ago was $807,000. Now it's $3.4 million. So it's because they've got a couple of these luxury projects and that's why you're seeing a $285,000 price jump year over year. If you wanna see all these numbers broken down into a PDF, don't forget to download that in the description below. So what does all this mean? Common themes throughout this entire market report seem to be that inventory keeps going up you know, 50%. I keep hearing that <laughs> as I go through it and closed sales are down. So what's going on with pricing and why why isn't it plummeting? Well, here's a graph that you're not gonna find on any real estate statistic website. This is showing the month to month data for the past 18 months. And you can see the last three months in a row, pricing is essentially flatlined, completely leveled off, no big drops or jumps whatsoever. You do see on this graph that there was a slight dip in the third quarter last year. So we're obviously gonna have to wait and see if that's gonna be the same case for this year. Now, real estate pricing is pretty simple. It's 100% based on some 
supply and demand. In 2020, at the beginning stages of COVID, we saw an extremely low number of houses for sale. And at the same time, we saw demand skyrocket and become higher than it's ever been before. And as a result, pricing went up around 70% or so. Well, supply seems to be getting much better. I mean, we keep seeing inventory up 50% in all of these different areas. So could that be a reason for a price drop? Well, let's talk about demand and where it is today in Sarasota. And I think there's really two factors that our demand boils down to. Number one, the COVID effect. This is literally when I started doing YouTube. And the main reason was people were at home exploring around on YouTube, looking for areas to move to Florida. So obviously many landed on some of my videos along with some other realtors in my area. And before this, Sarasota honestly was the best kept secret in the state of Florida. It has a low cost of living, top rated schools, best beaches in the country, I mean, the list literally goes on and on. Well, here we are in 2023 and Sarasota is no longer a secret. So that caused our demand to remain higher than it was before and it's still high. Number two, the demand for the Sarasota lifestyle. Now take a look at this graph. Yep, this is a graph of the population for different generations. And you see that spike where it says baby boomers? They are what set the trend. Other generations, they're either gonna follow suit or modify what the previous generation has done. I say this because the baby boomer generation is searching for exactly what the Sarasota lifestyle offers. Warm weather, plenty of things to do, a sense of community with others around it, oftentimes a much lower cost of living than what they're accustomed to. Yes, supply is continuing to increase, but demand has stayed in check with it. This is why we're not seeing a drastic price decline like in other areas of the country. More people are still visiting Sarasota than ever before. The county is investing more and more dollars into the community to make sure it continues to thrive and stay desirable. I mean, seriously, make sure to check out the video that I did last week on some of the new things that are coming here to Sarasota. And also I did just release my very first monthly newsletter where I talk about some of these new things that the county is doing and how they're investing into our city to continue to make it desirable. So make sure to jump on that newsletter if you want to know about the future things, you know, it looks a little bit something like this and you can jump on that. There's a link in the description below. If you've made it this far in the video, you're probably pretty serious about learning more about the Sarasota real estate market. You might want to jump on a quick call and chat more about our market. So let's do it. Go ahead, send me over an email at info at mattlight.com. And I'd love to personally get something set up to chat more with you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.